Hey everyone, I'm Broken Angel and this is You Have Missed Messages. Um, from what I read that this game will come across some touchy subjects, so just a pre-warning. Uh, suicide and self-harm. So anyone that might be sensitive to it shouldn't watch. Um, so let's get into this one. Yep, there's the trigger warning. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. I guess we'll take a look at the laptop. Uh, I need to work. But I'm so bored I can't focus. Um, what's this? Should I accept it? Goth girlfriend's iPhone wants to send you a note. Sure, let's accept that. Oh, work. Hmm. Planes. Y equal MX plus B. After some time, I start to lose focus. I make a valiant attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. Cool, can I accept this now? <laughs> no? I spend 30 minutes trying to understand but ultimately ending up confused. Why am I a fool, a hooligan, an oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? I attempt to focus back on my work and succeed for some time. I begin to lose focus again. I do some work and start wondering when I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where is Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? Let me accept it. There we go. So cute! <laughs> Um, send meme back? I wonder if she'll respond. Oh, wants to send you a note. Let's accept it. You're welcome. So, Pastel Princess's MacBook Pro, what are you up to? Um, existential crisis. <laughs> existential crisis, my dude. What about you? Except, oh, I feel you. I hope I'm not distracting or bothering you. Let me know if you ever want to have crisis together. <laughs> I'm currently procrastinating on some work with makeup. Um, you're not distracting. I'm working on my math right now, but don't worry, you're not distracting me. Maybe a little, but I'm enjoying it. Except, haha, me too, actually. Working on a multivariable problem set right now. We should study together. Yeah. <laughs> yes, let's study together. I'm in room 206, come by whenever. Okay, we've made a friend. Yes, I'll come by tonight. Can't wait. Cool. I literally didn't see that arrow in the top of the screen. Wow. Later that night, I went out to meet Goth Girlfriend. Before I left, my roommate opened her door. You're leaving? When will you get back? Probably after nine. Oh. Why? Why? I'm um, no reason. 
Okay, bye then. Wait. Um, before the day ends, happy birthday. You remembered. No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remembered. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. She sang for me sweetly. Thank you. No, thank you for being my friend. What? Why are you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Aww. I'll see you later. Goodbye. I met up with goth girlfriend. She told me her name is Amy. We laid out a blanket on the roof and started to study. Although we planned on working, we ended up getting lost in conversation. Um, the sky. The sky is gorgeous tonight. I know, right? I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. Me too. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing, for once. Only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it and my mind quiets. That's poetic. Um, let time pass. Time flew, in a blink of an eye, night fell. It's getting late. Yeah, we should head back. This was fun. Text me or airdrop me <laughs> later today, okay? I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. Hey sweetie, how was your day? I'm scared. You're a great friend, it's not your fault. When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous, but I didn't know why. I read the note. Don't come in. Call the police. They'll know what to do. Love me. Don't come in the room. Don't come in the room. The door felt heavier than usual. As I opened the door, I saw the body hanging. The smell, the sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my own hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene, myself, her, the police that eventually came, a disembodied feeling, and heard myself scream endlessly. My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the surreal cir circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. That's so sad. Who? Where? 
The second floor. You probably don't know her. May? No, but that sucks. Most pitied the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remembered her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crashed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead and we were putting her in the ground. The end. Missed. No one saw it coming. Could I have? Was there a message I missed? Well... Okay, well I'm gonna redo that and get a different ending because I know that there's three endings I think. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back. She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hail. As if she was going somewhere better, as if she hadn't heard my voice, lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd missed my chance. I wake up in a cold sweat, fearful but not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that, I should start working. Okay. So I think it just looped. I need to focus on work but that dream, I can't focus. What's this? Should I accept it? Um, I wonder what happens if I decline it. Just work. Okay, we'll accept it. Nope, still won't let me accept it. Okay. That's weird, I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. So cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Perfect for distressing from my work. Accept? Yeah, thank you. Good luck with work. I'm procrastinating from work with makeup right now. Uh -huh. uh, thank you. You're precious. You too. Thank you. The noise from my roommate's room has quietened down. The door of my roommate, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Knock. 
I hesitated, then knocked. For some reason, I feared what I might find. Hello? Yes? Um... Shit, what would I say? Are you okay? I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I heard noises from your room earlier. Oh, thank you, I'm fine. Uh, well, I'm kind of sad, but don't worry about me. Do you want to hang out with me in case you don't want to be alone? I'd like that, but I have work to do. Take a break. You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. Oh, I could use a break, to be honest. And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed looking out at the sun, the setting sun. Uh, life? What are you up to these days? I feel like we haven't caught up in a long time. Um, a lot and also not much. A lot? Uh, sorry, I haven't stayed up. <laughs> Stay updated like I'm your favourite TV show. Don't worry about it. I just feel like I don't make enough time for you. Oh, that's okay. You're not obligated to. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? <laughs> I forgot you remembered. Of course I did. Happy birthday to you. Happy she sang me happy birthday. Oh, thank you for remembering. As the years flew by, my birthday became like any other day. No one else had remembered it either, but she had. Mm. Airdrops. So there's this girl I've been airdropping back and forth with. Oh, about what? Memes. <laughs> Cute. I hope I'm not stopping you. If you're busy, we could talk some other time. You're fine. Nah, no, you're chilling. Okay, if you're sure. Do you think she's just sending memes or she's interested in me? The question of our generation. You think she's gay? I don't know. You should ask. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's... A different option. Let's go with I already like someone. I already like someone, no. Oh, spill the tea. Who is it? Um, you probably don't know her. She's a really great friend. Oh, boo. How do I confess to her in a non-embarrassing way? What? Like, a way you can still be friends afterwards if she rejects you. Um... Uh, why not ask her to the movies? Then start putting your arm around her, see whether she snuggles into you. If there's good signs after the movie, you could ask her out for a real date. <laughs> That's cute. Watch a movie with me? Would you like to go watch a movie with me? Yeah, like that. No, I never mind. Huh? Nothing. Let me know how it goes. I can't wait. I swear to God. Uh, let's see how her romance life is going. What about you? How's your romance life? Uh, non-existent. I kind of wish it wasn't. Why? It's just nice to have someone that cares about you, you know? I care about you. But it's not the same. Um, not the same? Why isn't it the same? Well, we're just friends. 
My friends always grow distant as I grow older. I'm scared I'll be old and have nobody. I don't want to die alone. It's okay to be alone. The only one who can make you happy is you. Hmm, maybe. Sorry for letting my troubles on you. Oh, no problem. I'm here for you. Oh, I'm here for you too. I hope you and Airdrop Girl work out. Uh, how are you? So how have you been? Fine, just tired. Big mood, how so? I don't know, like a bone deep tiredness? Day after day. Mm. So we're digging deeper here. I'm gonna click on depressed. Do you think you're depressed? Um, maybe. I took antidepressants a long time ago but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's the type of antidepressant? Maybe you need to try a different one. Uh, don't take my advice actually. I know nothing. <laughs> Me either. Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten better? The tiredness? Not really. By now I kind of just want to die. Oh, okay. Um, let's go with suicidal. Are you suicidal? Um. Oh my god, sorry. Was that too blunt? Feel free not to knit to not answer no you're good yeah I think about it sometimes I feel like we all do though I imagine how it'll go down how it'll look smell the aftermath whether anyone would care that I was gone not just about how I went um honestly I understand no, I can understand. You must be dealing with some shit. Please don't tell anyone. They might kick me out of school. That's the last thing I need. Of course, I won't tell anyone. Thanks. Um, I've felt that. I know where you're coming from. I think. You do? Yeah, then I wouldn't have any problems. But then, I wouldn't have anything. Afterlife, there's nothing. For me, if this is the only show I get, then why step out early? Um, let's go with, I'm glad you're alive. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared? I don't want you to go, you mean a lot to me. Thanks. Um, let's go with dream. Oh, that's right. How do we dream? Oh, what? It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. Oh my god, I need to hear this. You're in a snowstorm, and I called for you, but you didn't hear me, and I lost you. Huh? What does it mean? I have no idea, but it's stuck with me. Oh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, if you're still scared by bedtime, I'll tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. Um, what do you dream? What are your dreams like? Oh, disturbing. Someone always dies. Like my most recent one, it featured you actually. In a bad or a good way. Good. Go on. <laughs> there was a massive epidemic. It was going to wipe out the world. I got infected. I was going to die. Then you discovered the cure and I was saved. Wow, that's scary. I always knew I was going to save the world. 
Yeah, Dream, you really saved me. All right, let's go with stare outside. This is relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. Really, I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? Do you ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of, it's a satisfying sort of monotony. A day where I stay inside, windows open, with tea and a book is the good shit. Oh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, and then go to sleep. Then do it all over again. Um, you know what? I understand that too. Huh? I think I can understand that. You can? I mean, I feel like that when I absolutely must do something I don't like. Like math. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you're definitely not alone. I feel like a lot of people do things because they are supposed to, not because it makes them happy. I think it's more than doing things that make you happy though. I need purpose. I want to feel like my life has direction. It's cliche, but why not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I loved doing, I'd be doing it by now. But I don't know what I want to do. Oh, I can strongly relate to all of this. Um, is this constant? Have you always felt like this? Pretty much, yeah. By now, it's not a good feeling, but it's comfortable. I'm not sure if I want to change. And even if I did, I wouldn't know how. I'll help you. We'll figure this out. I'll try every hobby and profession with you if that's what takes it. If that's what it takes. Thank you. Why are you so good to me? Because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. Let time pass. We talked more about everything and nothing. From TV shows and memes to our worst fears and biggest desires. Before we knew it, evening dawned. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang again. Yay, thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. Although I also had work, I didn't regret talking with May one bit. The door to the outside world. Um, let's go to the bathroom. I opened the door to my roommate May. She didn't seem to hear or see me. Oh dear. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Are you really okay? You don't look okay. I I need to go. Hug. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? She nodded silently. I hugged her. I wanted to say something yet didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. Uh... I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. And I know that feeling too. Especially you, you're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Wait. Thanks for being here. Of course. 
I know this doesn't look good. I needed to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness. I really don't. Hey, yes you do. You're a good person. Of course you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Hug. Just a hug. It's been months since that day. May and I have gotten closer. I'd even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we held each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? What for? I uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I really appreciate you. Really. Aw, anytime. Thank you too for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my god, no you. No you, Uno Reverse. <laughs> Later that night, she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help and no one came, my voice lost in the snow. But you saw my messages, you grabbed a shovel, helped, and I could finally open my door. No. There's hope to look forward to, after all. Well, that was a much better ending than the first one. I uh, don't think I'm going to pursue that last ending. But that was a really good game. Sorry, just having a sip of water. My god, lots of talking. Um, I guess... Always check on your friends. Because you don't know what they're going through. And I can strongly relate to this because I struggle with um, depression and anxiety myself. So I hope this... Um, sends out a message to people who need it thank you for watching please leave a like if you liked it and subscribe and i'll see you in another video bye